So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to go ahead and add a countdown timer inside of Streamlabs. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up Streamlabs desktop. If you don't have Streamlabs desktop installed, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is here on the left-hand side, you're gonna select this little plus icon. We're gonna name this here, countdown timer. You're gonna select done. And now this is gonna give us a new scene here. Now what I like to do is to drag it right after the starting soon. And then here on the right-hand side, once you have countdown timer selected, we'll select this little plus icon and we're gonna select a media file. We'll select add source. We'll go ahead and add a new source instead. We'll name this timer select add source and now it's going to ask us to go ahead and locate our file now the easiest way to be able to add a countdown timer is to utilize a countdown timer overlay so for this example i'm going to go to streamdesigns.com and i'll put a link in the description of this video now they have tons of animated overlays you can go ahead and choose from to match your style but you can also go ahead and select just countdown timers by themselves to be able to go ahead and utilize now I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the Pixel World one that matches my package. And you're gonna see here that it's gonna be an animated countdown timer that's gonna begin counting down from five minutes. So once you go ahead and have your countdown timer overlay, you'll come back to Streamlabs, you'll select browse. And if you went ahead and got your countdown timer from Stream Designs, it's gonna initially come in a zip file just like this. If you're on Windows, you're gonna right click, select extract, and that's then gonna go ahead and create a folder here for you. If you're on Mac, you're going to double click and that's going to create a folder here for you. Once you have the folder, we'll open it up. We'll select our countdown timer. We'll select open. And then we do not want this to loop because once the timer finishes, we want to go ahead and switch over to our next scene. Now, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is to close file when inactive. And then you go ahead and hit close. And if it's not the size of your canvas, you'll click on timer. You'll right click, hit transform and then you'll go ahead and fit to screen. And now we go ahead and when we switch over, we can go ahead and have our countdown timer begin from five minutes to go ahead and build up some hype for our stream. Now, if you want to be able to learn how to set up any other overlays inside of Streamlabs, go ahead and watch this playlist right here where I walk you step-by-step -step on setting up every overlay in Streamlabs to make your stream look professional. I'll see you guys in the next video.